What is up, everybody? Welcome back to No Pun Intended, Still Slaps. I am Shuby, songwriter, producer, commentator, all that good stuff. And I wanted to come and shoot this video about, obviously, you saw the title, Will Smith versus Chris Rock, Oscars 2022. Last night was quite the mess for uh, both of these gentlemen. And, you know, I, I do want to address a couple of things. I feel like Will Smith is a public figure. He's he's a, a, a superstar to a lot of people, including myself. Uh, and Will Smith has really, over the last few years, really been, been the punching bag to a lot of people. And, and in the face of just a big, big tornado of publicity obviously everybody watching this video has seen the, the jada pinkett smith jokes the tupac jokes the all those uh just really if you let it get to you long enough those bruises to to your you know to your to your personality are going to eventually come out and i and i really do believe that this was a situation that for somebody like will smith if you saw it happen in real time, you did, your first immediate reaction is, okay, is this staged or was this a legitimate thing? Because it's just not something that you would, you would assume a person like Will Smith would do. And with all, with all that aside, like, I do believe, I wholeheartedly believe to this day, I'm going to speak in black people terms. One day... You could do whatever you you could do whatever you you uh you set out to do with the way your personality is in certain areas um it, it, to, to be as professional as possible uh, you you may have the greatest track record of being professional and in professional settings and doing everything you can to really be an upstanding person but one day one day ladies and gentlemen if you're really going through it if you got years and years of 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 getting just bruised, your soul bruised everywhere you go, you know, you, you have to be the number one seed in every single thing. And on top of that, you're dealing you're still dealing with past trauma. You're dealing with all that. One day, the ne the Negro is going to come out of you. It's going to come out of you. That is strictly just a fact. I've had situations where it's happened with me. Uh, if you, if you're watching this and it's not even a black thing, if you're watching this and whatever race you are, it's happened with you. Somebody's tried you or you've been tried in a, in a situation and you just don't react the best. And I think that this was the, this was, the, <laughs> this was the perfect opportunity for it to happen in Will Smith's trajectory. Will Smith gave y'all about uh, the 360 business day deal before his Negro actually came out uh, in front of everybody. And I think that that's all right. I think that that's fair. I think that it's fair if you have been just really tested. And it's not like it's not known. Like if you really look at Will Smith from the past few years, I'm just finding out about Jada Pinkett Smith's alopecia. Uh, and 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 that is a um I know with me I have personal family members who suffer through through alopecia and I know how I would feel if somebody were to say something I don't care if it's a joke but it's like yeah yeah you know hey man you can't cross that territory with certain people especially at, on the one of the biggest stages of the year you Will Smith has publicly come out and said that he is he is vulnerable when it comes down to, to anything relating to his performances, his acting, his his career, um, and a lot of the trauma that he's dealt with over the course of his life has really been, um, it's really been on the backside of his of his career. So when he when he gets in that spot uh, like he was last night with Chris Rock. Um, I think that it was a situation where Chris Rock, obviously he didn't intend for that to happen, but he got in the way of Will Smith's already few uh, years worth of road rage that Will Smith was clearly going through. Will Smith has publicly released uh, his, his book, 
uh, that was uh, talking, detailing a lot about his trauma and he realized that it was a huge piece of therapy for him. He's been public, uh, his his uh, marriage has been the public, in the public eye of just rotten tomatoes getting smacked on top of that for, for God knows how long. And on top of that, Jada Pinkett Smith, obviously the alopecia uh, and dealing with that illness uh, is not something that who will is probably taken lightly at this time and on top of that the kids and what the kid like it's just a lot and i think that we do to a certain degree have to hold certain people accountable for saying certain things like if you're a comedian chris rock and that's another video for another day i don't even know if chris rock is not really funny to me I, is chris rock funny to y'all he's loud he's a loud dude but i, I don't really I, I, I didn't even think the joke that he said was funny. I, I thought that it was, it was okay. Uh, G.I. Jane, Joe, you know, I, I get it. But it's like, okay, um, just to make yourself look good for that little bit of time and it ended up backfiring on you because you got the comedic senses smacked out of your dome piece. I feel like you don't get in the way of another man's road rage. You understand what I'm saying? Like you, you, you it, it, I, I've seen personally people to illustrate, I've seen personally people who are will go out of their way to hurt somebody, um, who will go out of their way to hurt somebody uh, on the road. And if I insert myself into that into that scenario, guess what? My ultimatum is is probably going to be very, 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 very bad. It's going to it's not going to be good. You know, either somebody else is going to get hurt, somebody that had nothing to do with it or I'm going to be in a situation where I'm hurt or worse. This is a situation where Chris Rock definitely, uh, he, he wasn't really thinking the brightest. I don't think he he knows obviously the, the stuff that Will's been going through. And we just gotta hold certain people. We have to give some sort of accountability to a lot of what certain comedians are saying nowadays. I, I do think that it's, you're not gonna be perfect. But with this situation, I do have to give points to Will because you're only going to be the good guy so many times. You're only going to take so many uh, just stank uh, Brussels sprouts to the face when it comes down to your life. You're only going to be resilient so many times before one day. It's just uh, I'm not that guy today. I'm just not that guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that's the way it goes. I'm thinking Chris Rock. He ate that. He ate that. He ate that. And he had it coming. And it is what it is. Will Smith went on to apologize. And you can see it was evident in his speech how much of a uh, uh, weight he's been really carrying around. And and that that comment from Chris was really it wasn't the it was just the it was the it was the plane. It was the plane into the building. And, and I get it. I understand to all you, it's just the joke, people. And to all you, uh, oh, he wouldn't have done that if it was anybody. Else. Stop. It was Chris Rock. It happened with Chris Rock. Let's keep it with Chris Rock. It, I'm not putting past it. He slapped the man on, on the biggest stage in front of everybody. And it's clear that he was really moving out of motive, out of the, out of the incentive, the love for his wife. You know, and I and I'm not putting it past if anybody else were up there, he would have done the same. He would have did the same thing. He would have did the same thing. I I, I don't I, come on. It's Will Smith for God's sakes. Like, let's be realistic. All right. This video is long enough. You guys, let me know in the comments how do you feel about the situation. And thank you for stopping by. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing. Please consider sharing. And thank you once again for stopping by, guys. This has been Shuby. Will Smith versus Chris Rock. The good guy has had enough. Still slaps. That slaps. <laughs>